What's up everyone? It's going to be a very, very busy day, but it's a gorgeous day, so that is completely okay. We got a lot of rain yesterday, so the temperatures are pretty low this morning. I think we're about 68, so we need to get the little babies fed. Jesse's already fed the pigs, the chickens, and the rabbits. And then we got to move the ducks. We got to check the bees, and we've got to do some work at the pond today. So it's gonna be a busy day. Let's go. Oh, Caught behind the Venetian blinds, try to reach for the city lines. This ain't where I belong. Hey, look at me, man, what I become. I've been running leaves, looking for something. Alright y'all, so we are out by the pond and we're going to officially move the ducks today. We're moving them for one, we need to get them out of the chicken coop because they just make it disgusting in there. And two, the chickens are starting to pick at their blood feathers so we've got a lot of bloody ducks so they need to get moved. So we're going to move them out to the pond. The plan is to house them temporarily in here and then electric net all around it. That way they get accustomed to living out here and by the pond and then hopefully in about a week or so we can just let them out. And they can enjoy the pond and hang out here in the what pasture. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I figured it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. Fell between the phones. All right, we're all set up. The wire is hot, so we're gonna go in, round up some ducks. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we're gonna cover them with blankets and kind of drive around the pasture. Just get them a little bit disoriented. That way when they do get released, they don't go running right back to the chicken coop. Let's have a toast for the lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart. So now we've got the duckies moved. The pigs, of course, are coming over to hang out and figure out what is going on. Jack's in the pond. So our next project for the day is to replace our aerator that's in the pond. We've got a 100 watt solar panel and then a battery down in that yellow box that is connected to an air pump. And then we've got weighted line and it's just connected to a little stone bubbler. We're going to add some line to it. Jesse's going to get in the pond in his inflatable raft, figure out where the deepest part of the pond is, and we're going to extend that line, and then we got a new aerator to connect to it. So it'll be nice and aerated and happy for the fish because we do have fish. We went fishing the other day and caught some catfish. So the catfish that we put in last year have definitely survived. So we want to make sure that they stay alive. So let's get started on the next project for the day. Alright, so we've got our 100 watt panel down there with our battery and our pump. And then right now it's just a, a mess. We've got a bunch of weighted line and we're replacing the old bubbler with one of these. 
So first thing we need to actually do, well first thing Jesse's going to do is get in this little inflatable boat and head into the pond because we're going to do some sketchy stuff because we got to figure out where the deepest part of the pond is. And nobody really wants to get in the pond because, well, we've seen our pigs pee a lot in this pond. Doing it yourself? go. What are you doing? Just shorting down this line. I think it'd be that long. Plus, the shorter the line, the more uh, the less resistance there'll be. And since I'm already wet, because I think our uh, yacht's got a hole in it. Screw it. Shoddy workmanship. Shoddy workmanship. She blows. All right, y'all. So we are officially done with today's chores, which is great because it's Friday and it is just after lunchtime. So we get an early Friday. Friday. Are you, you're excited Woo! about early Friday. Friday. <laughs> So we've got the ducks moved like we did earlier today. They're just chilling out in the shade and in about a week we'll let them out of the netting and they can come and enjoy the pond. Now the new, what is it, bubbler aerator? Is that what it's bubbler called? Bubbler aerator thing. We moved it out a little bit further into the center of the pond and then it's also a lot deeper so hopefully we get a little bit better aeration of the pond. We don't have a whole lot of algae growth. We do have some I don't know what this stuff is called. There's some growth along the edges, but hopefully the grass carp haven't died off and they'll take care of some of that as well. But I know we do have fish in here for sure because we caught a catfish while we were out here. So I think we're going to clean up. I'm going to do some blackberry picking because our blackberries are finally ready to be picked and just relax for the rest of the day. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We put out new videos every single week. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Friday! <laughs> Thank you.